top of the morning to you, or whatever time of day you're watching this, top of that. Anyway, I'm Tess, this is JB Tools, and today I'm going to test some tools. Specifically, today I'm going to be testing out the Milwaukee M12 Crown Stapler. We have this available at jbtools.com, as well as a lot of other wonderful Milwaukee tools. So, let's see here, uh, we have got the, uh, it says it is a, I will not fire this art director for choosing this tool, knowing that I have a hard time saying this, but it's 3 eighths inch. So looks like another classic Milwaukee product. This is an electric stapler. This product, this specific set, does not come with the battery. So I'm going to be using a battery from our M12 battery kit, and we will get into that and a lot of other fun things when we come back. Alrighty, now we're back, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start unboxing this product um, and see what is inside, see what Milwaukee is providing us with. To save time, we cut the tape so that I am not spending 20 minutes opening it. All right. Uh, we have got here uh, the operator's manual. I'll set that aside and I don't know, some other paperwork. Who cares about that stuff? All right, uh, this thing looks fun. Um, all right, so it looks like this has that classic uh, belt loop, belt clip, like all the other Milwaukee products that I've tested out. Uh, I'm guessing that this is probably our on off switch here. Uh, oh, no, that looks like it's Gonna change speed maybe? All right, we're gonna find out. And I have no idea what any of the rest of this does, um, but hopefully I don't get hurt in this video either. All right guys, let's just go ahead and do what I'm here to do and get into the chaos. Um, so I'm gonna figure out how to load some staples into this, put one of my handy M12 battery kit batteries, into the staple gun. And then uh, naturally, we don't have any like correct materials. Um, I've been told that this gun is usually used for things like upholstery, insulation, and carpeting. All materials we don't have, um, I'll blame former art directors for that. Um, but I do have a rag and a piece of wood, and I'm gonna go ahead and just, you know, do a little make believe here. Um, so, I'm carpeting a house. Um, okay. Do I put the battery in first or the staples in first? I'm gonna go with the staples. So uh, the only stapling, what the heck? The only stapling I've done in my life, do these go up or down? Do not load staples here. All right, so um, the only stapling I've done in my life <laughs> is um, in the office, you know, stapling papers. And I don't think this is right either. We'll see. All right. Um, so I've stapled papers. Uh, I've stapled um, PowerPoint presentations, you know, things that get stapled. All right. So I don't know if it's already on or not. I also we're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and test it. I have no idea. I don't think it's on. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> it is. All right. Guess we're just gonna go ahead and give this a try. How do I know what setting I'm on? Ugh. All right. I think I'm on a pretty high setting. I'm gonna go lower. That went in all the way. Uh, seems pretty nice. I feel like I would be good at this, although it's not a career I've ever considered. I'm feeling pretty good about it now. Um, I think I'm ready to move on to stapling something a little cooler. Um, so 
When we come back, I'm going to see what I can do to this wall. We're back again. And now Tess is going to use some tools on a wall. So we've got our classic JB Tools logo here on this banner. Go, uh, go ahead and just get this up here. A couple of them. Oh, I'm going to go pretty fast there. Ah, well, we're terribly crooked now. I probably should have asked for help from someone who is taller than me. Either way, the thing's pretty impressive. Definitely can go faster than I realized. Crank it up a little. This thing's kind of fun. I think I'm going to rethink my career because this is a lot more fun than stapling papers. So thank you, Milwaukee. All right, so one of our great uh, filming hands here, Hollister, she was able to find um, another interesting material that I'm going to go ahead and try this out on. This looks flexible, kind of rubbery, a little plasticky. I, th I think it goes on the wall. I'm not going to staple it on the wall because I've already done a lot of wall decorating and I think I did pretty good. So. I'm going to staple it to this wood and uh, we'll see how it goes through this. This is a pretty thick and, I don't know, different material. So, now I jammed it up. Well, it wouldn't be me working on these tools if there wasn't a Tessa's technical difficulty. Um, so I was stapling this and then I jammed this up and then the battery died and we had to like search the entire warehouse, find another M12 battery, but thankfully we have these M12 battery kits. So anyway, now I'm all charged back up. I'm going to put a couple more staples into this weird, uh, material that we're now calling wall skin affectionately. Yeah, I mean, the thing is powerful. Uh, I could see how it could get the job done, whatever job that may be. Again, including carpeting, insulation, roofing, etc. Again, uh, this electric stapler seems like it works pretty good. Uh, I have never used anything like this before. And I wasn't as terrified as I thought I would be. So keep that in mind, future female roofers. This is a great tool. So, once again, I'm Tess, this is JB Tools, and uh, you can find this Milwaukee M12 crown stapler, the Milwaukee M12 battery kit, and a slew of other awesome Milwaukee products that I may or may not test out at jbtools.com. See you next time. it probably goes pretty fast um, and could be a little aggressive. And the former art directors wrote that I'm a little aggressive, so I guess it, it fits.